Where are we right now? We are in Husum and Masbunel's uh, basement. We're gonna do our uh, regular Monday nogi drilling class and some rounds. <laughs> I'm Penny Kjansad from uh, Sweden and I do MMA. Let's go. Appreciate the the time you can get here working with really good people. Not many people get that prior to doing. <laughs> so who's coming now? Uh, coach Kupti, our head coach. It's nice. Hey. Okay. Andy. That's all. Hectic Mundo, TV, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Did you feel like a, a boost in like attention or social media following or anything after your fight with Bitch? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I got a, a better, you know, I think I got my name out there a bit more, uh, not only from tough and not only from old stuff. But just like actually beating somebody ranked, and um, and and I think I made like a name for myself in a better way, um, especially being dominant and being even better than my last two fights. So I'm fighting uh, Sidra Eubanks on December 19 in Vegas. She's pretty well rounded, uh, definitely better in the grappling department and physically strong. She used to fight at 125 as well when she did the Ultimate Fighter and a few fights after, but she is originally a 135er. Um, yeah, it's a good scrap. I, I see myself winning in every aspect, but I also see this as a good fight for the future. I, I feel that I, I'm going to get past her to be able to go to the top 10. I need to get past her. Uh, she's a... She's a really important uh, stepping stone in, in all this. And how is your camp been? My camp's been really good. I mean, I um, I basically don't do anything super differently when I'm like in camps. I like to stay home. I like to stay here in Copenhagen and then uh, Malmo do my training camps. I rarely go away to do my camps. Uh, and if I do, I do it like before a camp really starts. Um, I like to be close to my training partners and the family and stuff. Um, I, I don't see myself as a person that thinks that the grass is greener on the other side, especially when things are going relatively okay. Um, I believe it's like weird to break good habits if everything is fine. How come you're training in Copenhagen? Uh, I started training in Copenhagen back in 2013 before my third pro fight and uh, I'm from Helsingborg so uh, it was only one team there and it's a great team it's not like that just that we didn't have any any coaches and we were like two people doing pro and it was me and a male middleweight uh, so we basically packed our stuff and like did two three days in Copenhagen of the week uh, besides being in Sweden.
So since you're, you have to like cross borders for your training, has this uh, COVID thing made your life any di more difficult? Not really. I'm not going to complain. Uh, basically, it's, it's my job, so um, it's no, uh, it's nothing that's stopping me to come over. Really, it's just like showing papers and uh, going through the borders. It's fine. It's just like, it's been a bit, um, you know, I'm just trying to stay like a bit safer than usual, stay with my training partners, not to like go around and see random people. Are you a UFC fan? You would say I'm a UFC fan. I, I'm, I guess I have to be. <laughs> I don't think I ever watched a UFC fight when I went professional. Still. I watched a lot of um, Strike Force and Pride and stuff like that, but I actually never watched a UFC fight uh, back in the days. I think my first one was like in 2013 or something. It was really late. I guess automatically, I'm uh, I'm more of a fan of the female fight because I am a female, and um, if I would watch those fights, that I could see myself there, you know, I could see myself there in a few years. And and the, and the guy fights, I only watched like the lower weight class because I would watch something that would benefit me. Honestly, back in the day, especially when I started, I uh, I watched every Chris Cyber fight. I love Chris Cyber. Um, just because, uh, I mean, she seemed to be like super different and she was like dominating all the girls back then. Go out this way, you have time? Go out this way. Oh, that one hurt. <laughs> Good hit, position time. Yes, good luck. 5%, 5%. What song are you gonna come into, Penny? It's a secret. Is it a secret? I never tell people. Ah, okay. I always change it actually. I, I never use the same. Not anymore. I, I usually did, but not anymore. I'm just going after mood. So, what was your last song? ABBA. ABBA? Take a chance on it. It was? Mm. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. No, no change. She's no integrated. Change. No, no, but it was good. Actually, I got a lot of uh, props for that song. Yeah, were like, fuck, we, the, people were just like, we like ABBA. We totally Everyone forgot knows. about ABBA. Everyone but what for Glimmer and ABBA? For the Lord and Jesus. I know the Glimmer about the trail, the two-pack. You know what I'm saying. I mean, ABBA, ABBA and Glimmer, this is that bullshit. It's not cultural. No, no, no. Why? How come it's a secret? Because I think it's like, um, it's a build-up for myself. Because um, I'm, um, I'm kind of nervous when I fight, like really, really nervous, shitting my pants nervous. But whenever I hear my song, I feel calm, easy, and, uh, and like ready to go. And that's why I want that feeling of, uh, of me being almost surprised hearing it. So that's why. practice today Penny um, yeah it was good it was good I felt sharp actually uh, it's usually like super up and down like this close to the fight three weeks out Saturday I was um, I was pretty better <laughs> but uh, it was better after a few rounds um, uh, Saturdays are like my last uh, hard training is sparring but I have to be really careful not to like overtrain myself either because when I come to Saturday, I have to be fresh because it's sparring, and sometimes I'm not fresh. <laughs> but uh, Monday mornings uh, are fine. I mean, I like Mondays. Are you looking forward to the fight? Yeah, I can't wait. I just can't wait to go in there and show everything I've been working on. That's what I love about it. I love going in there and showing like this is, this is a way to win for me. 